Hello, welcome to Arsenal Studios. This is Learning English with Movies. In this video, we will talk about one of my favorite action adventures, The Rocketeer. We will also practice using there, it, this, that, these, and those. If you're new here, the goal of this channel is to help intermediate English language students practice and improve their English skills by using movies as the main topic. If you like our content, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Disney's The Rocketeer is a 1991 action adventure directed by Joe Johnston. It stars Bill Campbell, Jennifer Connelly, Alan Arkin, and Timothy Dalton. The film is based on the comic book series created by artist and writer Dave Stevens. Director Joe Johnston, a former production designer, had worked on blockbusters such as Star Wars and Indiana Jones. A blockbuster is a thing of great power or size, in particular a movie, a book, or other product that is a great commercial success. Johnston made his directorial debut in 1989 with the successful family comedy Honey I Shrunk the Kids. He would later direct hits such as Jumanji, Jurassic Park 3, and Captain America The First Avenger. Because of his success with Disney's Honey I Shrunk the Kids and his experience working on Indiana Jones films, Johnston was the perfect choice to direct The Rocketeer. In fact, the film was pitched by Disney as an airborne Indiana Jones. Airborne means carry through the air as by an aircraft. Despite being well received by critics and audiences, future sequel plans were canceled after having a disappointing box office performance. However, thanks to home video, the film would earn cult status among movie fans. In fact, Disney has recently announced plans for a possible reboot, tentatively titled The Return of the Rocketeer. To reboot means to produce a new version of something like a movie. Tentatively means subject to further confirmation or not definitely. The Rocketeer was inspired by the same 1930s movie serials that would inspire the Indiana Jones films and Star Wars. The biggest inspiration for the comic came from the serials King of the Rocket Men and Commando Cody, as well as Dave Stevens' own interests, including pulp magazines, airplanes, and pinup legend Betty Page. A pinup is a poster showing a famous person or sex symbol designed to be displayed on a wall. The film is set in Los Angeles in 1938 and centers on the life of a down on his luck stunt pilot, Cliff Secord, his aspiring actress girlfriend Jenny, and his airplane mechanic and mentor Peavy. Down on his luck means that he is experiencing a period of bad luck. After a police car chase destroys Cliff's racing GB airplane, his ambitions of winning an airplane race goes up in flames along with the plane. Unbeknownst to him, a criminal caught by the police had managed to hide a rocket-powered jetpack in one of the airplanes. Unbeknownst means without the knowledge of someone. Cliff and Peavy discover the jetpack and debate what to do with such precious find. After considering the alternatives, Cliff reluctantly agrees to return it to the authorities. Reluctantly means in an unwilling and hesitant way. Before doing so, Peavy not only redesigns and tinkers with the jetpack, but also makes a helmet for it. To tinker means an attempt to repair or improve something. When Cliff arrives late to an air show, one of his fellow stunt pilots decides to fly in his place. A fellow is a person in the same position, involved in the same activity, or otherwise associated with another. However, the old stunt pilot is caught in the middle of an air race, endangering him and the other pilots. Cliff is left no choice but to put on the rocket pack and save the day, inadvertently becoming a celebrity. Inadvertently means without intention or accidentally. As a result of his new fame, the gangsters looking for the missing rocket pack go after Cliff and his friends. To go after someone means to chase or follow someone in order to catch them. In fact, the gangsters even send a huge and intimidating hitman to get the jetpack and kill anyone who would try to stop them. A hitman is a person who's paid to kill someone, especially for a criminal or political organization. Meanwhile, Hollywood star and Nazi spy Neville Sinclair kidnaps Jenny as bait to get the rocket pack on his own. Bait is something used to lure fish or other animals into danger so they can be trapped or killed. 
The FBI finally find Cliff and Peavy and meet the inventor of the jetpack himself, Howard Hughes. Hughes was a real-life eccentric inventor known for his ambitious and visionary plans and designs. Martin Scorsese would later explore his incredible life in the film The Aviator, in which Leonardo DiCaprio played the iconic inventor. Iconic means very famous or popular, especially being considered to represent particular opinions or a particular time. Cliff's concern for Jenny's life forces him to escape the authorities and try to make a trade with Sinclair and the Nazis. To make a trade is to exchange something for something else, typically as a commercial transaction. Just before the trade could take place, the gangsters and the FBI arrive at the scene and a shootout ensues. To ensue means to happen after something else, or as a result of it. After an action-packed climax on a hydrogen-filled Zeppelin, Peavy manages to save Cliff and Jenny while Sinclair dies in an explosion while wearing the jetpack. A climax is the most intense, exciting, or important point of something, a culmination, or apex. Before we continue, I would like to invite you to check out my online course at Thinkific. The Learning English with Movies course was designed for intermediate English language students who love movies and filmmaking. You can practice your English reading and listening skills, learn new key vocabulary and grammar, and confirm your comprehension with fun quizzes. The Learning English with Movies Kindle ebook is also available from Amazon. For more information as well as fun and useful tips and recommendations, you can follow us on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. Now let's practice some useful grammar structures. We use there to say that something exists. Example, there's a rocket missing. We use there for number of people or things. Example, there are two FBI agents looking for the rocket. We use it plus B to say the time, day, month, date, etc. Example, it's six o'clock in the morning. We use it to say a distance. Example, it's miles from here. We'll never get there in time. We use it plus be or it plus verb to talk about the weather. Example, it's clear and sunny today. We should test the rocket. We can also use there plus be plus noun to talk about the weather. Example, there was a lot of wind. It was difficult to fly. We use it plus be plus for plus me or him, etc. plus to infinitive to describe someone's situation. Example, it was difficult for Cliff to tell the truth to Jenny. We use it plus be plus of plus me or him, etc. plus to infinitive to describe someone's behavior. Example, it was nice of Cliff to take Jenny to the movies. We use it plus be plus adjective plus to infinitive ing form to describe feelings about experiences. Example, it is amazing to fly in the GB. We use it plus be plus adjective plus that to give opinions about situations. Example, it's clear that Neville Sinclair is a Nazi spy. We use this or that to talk about something that is physically near to us and that in those to talk about something far from us. Example, that zeppelin is filled with hydrogen. We use this, that, these, those as pronouns. Example, the rocket is very dangerous. You can fly with that. We use this or these with a noun or as a pronoun to talk about the things that exist in the present and that or those to talk about things that existed before now. Example, this plane will surely get us to the nationals. That plane was going to take us to the nationals. Now it's junk. We use that or those with a noun to refer to something mentioned before. Example, I like the GB. That plane will win us the race for sure. We use that as a pronoun to refer to something that has been mentioned before. We use that or those with a noun to refer to things and people without identifying them specifically. Example, that man looks very suspicious. Be careful, Cliff. We use one of those, one of these to refer to one thing or person when there are many. Example, one of these days we will find a rocket. 
Thanks for watching. Have you seen The Rocketeer? Would you like to see a sequel or a reboot? Who would you cast as the new Rocketeer? Write down your thoughts in the comments below.